Uh, if Sharp said, he was, it's kind of funny because Sharp, you, like you mentioned earlier, Sharp said fighting Steve is like fighting Kiarash. <laughs> but like, with a disjoint, yeah. <laughs> with a disjoint, and now he's going to fight Elegant with his own disjoint. So we'll see how things go, man. Sharp on the Sephiroth, and Elegant, of course, on the Luigi. Good stuff to use that side special to kind of force Elegant into that range, but look at where you put yourself. You're at the corner, and Elegant loves it when you're there. Yeah, I, I think this matchup on paper, it'll definitely have a different tale once we see it offline. I think Sephiroth probably has the slight edge on Luigi just because you know, disjoint, sword, he's got the range, he's got the pressure, he's got the offstage game. But the thing that works for Elegant still is at the end of the day, Sephiroth dies up 80%. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Elegant, Elegant gets him to 80% off of one combo. So the game is pretty much always even. That is a good forced low recovery. Does he have his jump still? No, he doesn't. Mm -hmm. That fair just does it. Yeah, excellent stuff. Honestly, the way that Sharp has been trying out things with Sephiroth honestly amazes me. Even though he takes the L's, he knows those L's are going to happen with the character. But the edge guard that he really set up against Luigi was really clean because he knew that if I force Luigi low enough and he doesn't get that misfire, then it's pretty much GG. And even then, it can still go for downer, which pokes through the stage. Oh my god. There's so much that Sharp can do with this character. Yeah, one thing Elegant has to keep in the back of his mind now is the fact that with one winged angel up, Sharp, oh, I mean... Might not even give him a chance to do it. Just get a dip off. Oh. Tries to get him a counter. The counter is so good. It is yeah. easily the best thing that Sephiroth's got going for him. But with one wing, what I was going to say is the armor frames are there. Um, I mean, Sharp's DI is incredibly on point. There's the back air, though. is finally going to take the stock. His DI was on point, but his option at the ledge wasn't. I was going to say, like, this man has three jumps. He could take his time coming back on the stage, right? And Forito has so much mm -hmm. end lag up close. He had no reason to try to go for it. Oh, that, that jab lock happened. We, we might be looking at an even game. But, the, for, the, the, like, Elegant is just so good at closing the gap. Like, you really can never, ever be comfortable with a lead while you're playing against them. You have to assume that, like, you, you need to play him as if it's 0-0 zero to zero or, or, like, at all times. Even if he's at kill percent, just to make sure that you're safe. I tell people, look, man, when you play against Elegant, you play like it's your last thought, because that's how you have to really treat it. You gotta mm -hmm. camp as your best as possible, and you gotta be as cautious as best as possible. If you don't feel like your move is safe on shield, don't even bother, because you will die for it. All right, it's gonna be a down throw. Okay, good stuff on Sharp to get that stage tech and the forward throw to push Elegant off the stage. Here's the opportunity for the edge guard. I like the fact that Sharp just keeps keeping that distance so he can try to hold center stage as much as possible. Well, what a vacuum. I am sorry. That was not okay. <laughs> Yeah, that, that was exactly what you needed for him, too. Now, you see, I 100% agree with everything Sharp is doing. Get up on that top platform, platform camp, and wait until you get put. Yeah, there it is. You got pushed out of that percent window. Now play the game. Yeah. And honestly, that's your best bet. Get away from that percent where Luigi can zero to death you as much as possible. Great stuff on the roll. What a call out with a down smash. The reading where Elegant was enforcing that situation out there. There's the read on the platform. This is pretty much Sharp's edge guard here. Can he get this opportunity? Luigi able to escape through and Sharp almost with the back air. Third, uh, sorry, second attempt here. And he's going to set up for what an excellent giga play here. Oh my god, that Giga player is so good because once you force him to have to go super low, the train on the down tilt too, can he find the F tilt? He's not going to find it. Elegant oh. forced on stage and the fireball actually comes in to stop the F tilt, which could have easily been Sharp's game, but it's actually still going. Okay. Oh, nice. And he's placed it perfectly on the shield so he doesn't have to worry about getting punished afterwards. That's the thing about Sephiroth's up B. It's highly committal because it doesn't auto step the ledge right away, but it does have a wide range to protect you from being edge guarded either way. Good stuff on yeah, Sharp, well, just trying to stick center stage though. And good stuff on Dreamcatcher Gaming coming through with two subs gifting to a couple players there. And that is still not going to do it. Was he, is, oh, you better be careful. If Elegant decided to rip a downer, that could be the stock. You see he's trying to play safe throughout these F tilts, try not to commit too hard. But one of these backers could take it out, Dash Attack could take it out, or if Elegant can find a throw <laughs> near the ledge, we could be yeah. looking at a game going to Elegant. The way that Sharp is playing is pretty smart, too. He's not giving Elegant too much to work with, but he's also consistently moving around and using that forward tilt to just space around Elegant. He doesn't have to be in that range for Luigi. He knows he can... <laughs> oh, good spot thought, so. And also really scary on the way. Yeah, there it is. There it is. That'll do it. Yeah, I don't... I don't absolutely. You keep putting out those F-tilts. You stay safe. You're out of the range where it's really, like, logical to go for, a for like, a forward smash or an up smash read. Because on the previous stocks, it was okay. You had armor on one wing and angel. You could do that. Elegant is in walk-up shield mode. You can't you can't do that. He's going to punish you hard for that. So good job on Sharp keeping it close at the or keeping his cool at the end. Because even with that percent, that was a dead even game. Yeah.
And <laughs> I like how the chat pretty much says like F to woo, but honestly, dude, that's what Sharp knew when he needed. I think even when we saw Sharp play and win at the smash.gg gg ladder, like he eventually just said, screw it, I'm just gonna camp. Cause if that's what I need to win, then just do it. Especially when you have a lead and especially when you have a character with one of the best pokes in the game, <laughs> you know, having that range that he does, but elegant off the bat here with 56% on this grab. And man, Sharp is definitely feeling that right now. There's that rule of 60, this time 70, deciding not to uh, go for anything but getting that like that big damage. Now, he, like, even though One Wing Angel is on point, you can't afford to trade, and you can't really afford to make a correct, like, an incorrect choice here at the ledge, because Elegant is controlling everything you do. You can't really Octa Slash there either, because if he parries it, he's probably going to punish it afterwards. Good grab, though, finally finds an opening. I I'm... <laughs> Alright, he finally finds something to work, but I was looking, uh, feeling very scared for Sharp at the start there. Yeah, oh, close with the back air. That's the thing about some of Sephiroth's moves is even though they have ridiculous range, they got some crazy stuff they can do with once the winged angel is activated. A lot of commitment though, and a lot of startup frames here. Back air good enough for Sharp to slowly take center stage. I'm so surprised that up smash didn't hit for elegant. And there's that. See, that's what I was talking about before. If you if you go for it every once in a while, it's gonna work because you got the armor frames on that fourth match. Try big. Yeah, you gotta commit to F tilt though. You can't really swing too hard at it. I like the reverse. Oh, he doesn't get anything oh, out of it other than there. Yeah, down there able to poke through the ledge. Excellent way to set up the scintilla here. And like you said. Ajax, that counter is so good for Sephiroth and calling out opponents. And he doesn't even have to look when you get your feet at the ledge, don't overcommit. Wait your turn to get back on the center stage. Neutral air not safe on shield, just like it is healing elegant on shield. You gotta make sure it's a safe poke or else you're gonna get punished. Also, something if you know anybody who's playing Sephiroth trying to learn how to deal with this matchup, like Elegant is playing it very well, like just trying to like be simple. But you see that Sharp is not over you utilizing those side Bs. That's a pretty quick way for Elegant to get in just by like walk up shielding them. And so you don't really get too much out of it. You preferably want to go off stage, oh, except no. for when you get to hit. <laughs> it's a bit deep too down. Excuse me for trying to compliment Sharp for a second. I like the fact <laughs> that he went off stage. But <laughs> well, I'm, I'm like so lost too, because it was like, Dang, I thought he could attack that, but nonetheless, man, Sharp is still bringing it up there with the back air. Stage control, excellent opportunity to go for, go for the downer because it pokes through the stage and you can call out Luigi for his back, um, sorry, up special. Elegant is so aggressive off stage. He's one of those people just like, you You try to establish that recovering is not for free. He refuses to let you like set that agreement. He's always swinging, especially when he's got a stock up. He's like, he's willing to trade because you're probably gonna die. Oh, oh no. speaking of which. <laughs> <laughs> a season two of the futures. It's, it's not even Shulk. That's two games. Oh. Excuse me. Wait, hold up. That's one game finally going to, to Elegant. Wow, this set has been going so slow. I assumed we were already another one in. I'm, I'm with you, man. But honestly, it's the way that Sharp has to play this matchup. He knows he has oh, to agree. go the distance game in terms of mentality, in terms of character, but also in terms of neutral. That distance game is really important against Elegant and also against Luigi as a whole. Mm -hmm. I think for I think it was really tough, too, because you know what? Murabito said it really well. It's a no tech zone. He got hit by that twice. A lot of stage techs that yep. could have happened. But honestly, when you think about it in the heat of the moment, you have to account for Wi-Fi lag, the latency, and then, of course, input delay. And that's what makes really teching really hard online. It's not an easy True enough. And that's why I get True so enough. surprised when I see players actually parry, because I'm like, wow, you actually, like, have that down. Yeah, unfortunately, we all, we as commentators also control the timeline. It, so <laughs> the moment I started speaking on elegance, swinging off stage, uh, we, we knew we knew that's how it was gonna end. That's just the way it has to go. But I, I I agree though. It's it's so hard to react to that. You can't choose like to just like you can't just react uh, because you know it's gonna happen. You have to preemptively call that they might swing here, which could cause a buffered air dodge, which could cause you to die anyway. So. I, I do like how good Elegant has been at establishing the Sharp, though, after that first game. Look, you may have Edgeguard to be a bunch the first time. I'm not letting that happen again. This just plays into that adaptability fact that I was talking about Elegant. But you know what? Sharp is also that way, too. Usually switches the character up, but I think we might see a slightly wider stage just because the pressure that Sharp was giving before didn't really work as much on stage on um, the second time so i'd like to right, see the right. same characters just a slightly wider stage maybe a ps2 um i know Kalos is open i'm not really a big fan of going to Kalos in this matchup but you can 
get easier downers at the ledge because he can't hug the wall to try and mess up his timing. That's a that's an option. Um, and what else did I see? I, I, Smashville, I think, plays into Elegant's favor, so I don't think we see that get picked for sure. Yeah, yeah I, Battlefield. I, Battlefield probably is decent. I, th I think the stage choice definitely does matter, especially the bigger stage you have, the more you can avoid characters like Luigi. I think having Kalos for sure is an option there. Battlefield didn't do too bad for Sharp. Honestly, just a couple missed texts there either way. I think mm -hmm. you definitely want to avoid the smaller stages, especially if you're going to be going Sephiroth or Joker. If you're able yeah. to whiff punish characters like Luigi by running away and getting your back airs in, you can range some options there with either Joker or Sephiroth. Right, having a bigger stage is honestly your best bet. Even if the match drags on a little longer, like I said, it's going to be a test of your mentality in terms of going the distance, playing the distance, and being in the distance. True enough. Swag Giggles, that's a trick question. Sharp plays everyone, um, which is why the stage <laughs> pick actually matters so much here. Uh, like, if, if he really wanted to, he could try and get cheesy with messing up the angles that Elegant takes on Yoshi's Island, but I don't think Sephiroth's going to be, be the pick, even though Sephiroth's pretty good there. I think for that matchup, it's a little bit too small. So actually, we're going to see the switch over to Wolf, which tells me I think that this stage has gotten a little smaller. Mm -hmm. uh, so my guess is something along the lines of Smashville or Yoshi's. Um, I'm with you on that one. We're, we might actually see some. Actually, sorry for you, Ajax. We actually don't oh, wow. have Yoshi's and the West Coast. We, uh... What? I'm looking at the rule set right now. Really? Okay. I thought, I, I thought we didn't have Yoshi's. Man, you know, I haven't I'm seen the rule set in a to, I'm looking at the receipts right now. Uh, <laughs> the DMs? Um, the DMs? I, <laughs> I'm looking at it. But I guess wrong entirely, though. Yous are pretty good on uh, like the choices there. But the Town and City pick, it's pretty solid. You can lame him out with, with laser shots whenever the platforms are gone. You mm -hmm. can force him to have to approach you a bit more aggressively that way. But Elegant is also perfectly content to be here, too. This isn't necessarily a bad stage for Luigi when those right, platforms right, right. are in his favor. He has different routes he can take. Exactly. And I think you said it really well, too. We saw this wolf do really well against Jake last night. I'm sorry, this, this past weekend on Grand Finals there. So definitely putting out against a character like Elegant where you might have to be forced to lame your opponent, sit, that, sit back, play the blaster game. But also you have really good knockback on your moves. Wolf is a character that snowballs in terms of damage and knockback. Look at that 122, pretty much a cool percent here against Luigi. Looking for an opportunity to get this back air. And yes, what a great movement and way to call Elegant for going for an area like that. Honestly, like just watching Wolves use laser, I call it the humble check. You, you'll see it, especially if you watch Charlie play. It's just... You think you have a good approach? You think you have a good, you know, neutral game? Okay, operate around this move. <laughs> it hits you if you land on me, and it's also dumb strong and relatively fast. So it forces people who have, like, bad approaches, bad mix-ups, to have to operate around it. And Elegant's doing a pretty solid job of it so far, but you can see the active struggle that he has getting around it, like, relatively easy. Yeah. Uh, punish, yeah. What a way to go for forward tilt. You still get good positioning, low committal there in terms of frames, and you get Elegant off the stage. Way to set up that backer on the roll read, but Elegant takes advantage of the fact that, man, if you hold shield a little bit too long, he will take that stock with a grab into a quick tornado. Even stocks. Honestly, this is just a grab away for Elegant to make this back. Ah, oh, I commentators of... curse them. Oh, you know, even even though he... Oh, you better be careful! There oh. can be a downbeat! That can be the stock! My god! No, he doesn't die off the top just yet, but you were correct. <laughs> I shouldn't talk. I One shouldn't grab. talk. I shouldn't talk. I shouldn't talk. <laughs> I'm so Remember sorry. What I said, commentators, we control the timeline. If you ever want us to get you through it, just get us fired at more events. <laughs> I, shouldn't, I shouldn't talk. <laughs> I oh, you better watch man. for that tech. That, da that dash attack, so good, forces Luigi. Yeah, the one thing Luigi has going for him, at least in this matchup, is that pretty much all the spaces, they have a pretty annoying time getting back with their linear recoveries. Wolf a little bit better compared to the other two, but Elegant is good at forcing people to go low and punishing him for it. Yeah, and honestly, the reason why we saw that interaction go between Sharp and Elegant at the platform is because Sharp had the presence of mind to actually go for get up attack, which knitted Elegant the re-grab. And that was still smart on Sharp because at, at that point, he knew that he missed the tech and Elegant might have gone for a tech chase. But Elegant is very smart. Like you said, he has adaptability and he knows how his opponents react to him. Yep, so a good adjustment there from Sharp 2 after getting hit the last time for using Luigi Tornado because he's trying to go for the reset fair. He's seen, he's seen that enough. He plays Charlie enough. But that, that's just the wolf go to, right? Try and get that big damage. Sharp is now slowing it down. He's forcing to him approach. He knows if he makes one mistake, it could cost him, but the back air is actually going to do it. We're looking at a 2-1 to one lead for Sharp. <laughs> I'm going to preemptively call this now. <laughs> 
think we're going to game five. <laughs> Honestly, I, I know that Sharp just won. But I wouldn't see it any other Elegant's way. Been playing, I, I, I just, I, I'm hard pressed to assume that we don't see a game five, even, even with the fact that Sharp just took that game because that was super close still. Yeah, I, I agree. Honestly, it, it's, I wouldn't be surprised, man. Game five happened a lot for Elegant because just the way he is as a player, man. He, <laughs> he knows how to put himself in those situations. I just looked, I just looked at chat. Commentators control the flow of the match with this one weird trick. Oh, how hate, them. hate them! Oh my god! We need to put <laughs> that, that. That needs to put that. We, somebody needs to put that on a clickbait title. I'm we not made, kidding. We made it. Can, can, yo, can that can can that actually be like created into a command? Like command. We need to. We, need, we we actually need to. We actually need to. I'll get I'll get JMX on it. I'll get JMX on it. It's actually That's, hilarious. That is incredible. All right, so we're gonna run it back with the wolf. Uh, going into game number four, I, I didn't see. It looked like it was a stage switch. I think that 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 stage was just too in favor of Wolf. Um, yeah, could be PS2 maybe with better platform. That's actually okay. So this is where I guess we were going before. I assumed we were going to get a smaller stage because of this matchup because it's easy to control right. Elegant on, with the laser. But I mean, Elegant definitely is very comfortable. This is a highly this is a high percentage pick for Elegant usually. I, I agree with you. Honestly, I definitely also agree with Loof Trooper that he says this set reminds me of SoCal Offline, which is true, man. This is actually the SoCal Classic between Charlie and Elegant. You, mm -hmm. we, this always happens between the two. And it goes either back and forth. Either Charlie might win, Elegant might win. But ultimately, what it comes down to is taking the first stock. Because look at the way that Sharp has been playing, looking to whiff punish the actual tornado, take stage control, force this man for a low recovery because you know Wolf wants to see you do that. Yeah, that's just unfortunate too because Elegant was holding the drift out because you could drift off the stage with that tornado, try and avoid the punish. And I like the fact that he just drifted there in the center stage. Unfortunately, doesn't get away fast enough because it, before risk management was, I take a dash attack, I don't die. And they still ended up getting followed up on. Now, yeah, he, I like the fact he waited that time so you trade with the tornado after trying to go for the reset fair. Sharp is really adjusting heavily. Speaking of which, that's a two-stock lead. This is starting to look pretty bad. <laughs> From my guess that this would go to game five. I mean, it's a good pick. Ooh. I've seen Charlie dismantle Elegant because of the way that you're... Let's think about Wolf, man. You have some pretty good movement options. His movement isn't that slow. Oh, that's a good backer. Yeah, he, he knows. He forced him to go for a little recovery at that point. Wolf Fire doesn't have that height, and it's only Wolf Flash that does. Problem with Wolf Flash doesn't auto snap the ledge, and it's super susceptible to being punished. So Elegant make the right choice there. Yep, I'm gonna tell. You, I'm gonna say it now. Hold chat. I know. I know. Elegant's behind two stocks. And I definitely like my, the the any bias says I want Sharp to win, but I love seeing good sets. Elegant I'm, I'm is with you. I'm with you. a lot more. Oh, I think he could have gotten punished there. But Elegant is only one good setup away. We've already seen it gets big damage. This could get to even unless he can't navigate around this ledge trap with Sharp oh. land right now. And that is Sharp taking it three to one over Elegant. And that's what I'm telling you, man. Look at the way the Sharp played that. He went for a blaster. He played a little bit nine, get that good neutral in. And then you force that low recovery. Why? Because low Wolf loves it when you go for that low recovery. And he can mm -hmm. punish it with a down smash, up smash, when you roll. Like, there's a plethora of options Wolf has to just stop you from coming back on stage and get that fat W. 